Hey, what's up, guys? Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net, YouTube, Eli Fishman Sports. Back another interview. Today, I'm happy to be joined by a New York Yankees pitching prospect, Glenn Otto. Glenn, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. The Yankees drafted you with a fifth-round selection out of Rice University a couple of years ago. What does this Yankees organization mean to you for drafting you and giving you that opportunity to play football? That obviously means a lot. You know, anytime you're given an opportunity to pursue your dream and, uh, you know, just keep keep the dream alive and keep keep playing the game you love. Uh, it's obviously a great opportunity. And a lot of great people here in the organization have helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, I've learned a ton since I've become a Yankee. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. What would you say is one big lesson that you've learned from the Yankees organization so far? Really just having respect for everybody. You know, from clubhouse managers to, to coaches to, you know, uh, every, I mean everybody. People that help us out with food. I mean, it's having having respect, and everything everything here is built upon respect. So we're respected as players, no matter what level we're at. We're respected, and we are expected to respect everybody that we come across. You came in and you shut down hitters immediately coming into pro ball. What was the biggest key to having that success from college ball carry over to pro ball? Well, for me, so I was a reliever in college, and um, it was it was interesting coming in being drafted as a starter. Uh, learning to pitch around my fastball and you know, using my off speed not necessarily to pitch backwards but to pitch off my fastball and use my fastball first. So um, what you know, is a necessity with that is fastball command. And that's something that in college I didn't really need as a, you know, it wasn't really a priority because I was coming out of the bullpen and I'd throw whatever pitches I needed to, to get out of jams or whatever. But, Fastball command has been has been huge. Uh, you know, I've learned that if you can't command the fastball, you can't use your other pitches as well as you want to. So that's probably my my number one priority. Now this season, before getting hurt in Charleston, you had an ERA about two four. Uh, opponents were hitting only two hundred off you. What do you think specifically this season in Charleston? You think was working for you? Uh, really, I mean, you know, if I I feel like if I can get ahead with my fastball, uh, I can use my curveball and my changeup as, you know, put away pitches, mainly my curveball. And, you know, I'm not I'm trying to use more of my fastball and change up, but I do have that curveball as a good weapon uh, once I get two strikes on a hitter. And that was really successful. I think my first outing, I kind of shot away from my curveball trying to use my fastball and change up a little bit too much. And that, that hurt me a little bit. So my second outing, I came out and established the fastball and then went to that curveball more. And that was really beneficial for me. Now, are you just a three pitch guy, fastball, curveball, change up, and you throw a four seam or two seam? Uh, just a four seam. Just a four seam, change up, and curveball. Yeah. What do you think has you know, been the best part of professional baseball so far? Well, just that you're out here every day. You know, in college, you play probably four or five games a week. Uh, I was at Rice University, and you know, th I thought that was a lot, but uh, you come out here and you get to, you know, if you have a bad day, you come out the very next day and you get to prove yourself again. And that's just always being able to prove yourself and, you know, play with some great guys. Growing up, who was your favorite team and your favorite player? Well, I grew up in Houston. Uh, I was actually a, a big Astros fan. Uh, you know, those teams they had, oh, uh, man, 2005, obviously went to the World Series and um, had Biggio, Bagwell, Bergman, yeah. uh, Oswald. Uh, had Clemens there for a little bit, Andy Pettit. So those teams were pretty fun to watch. Uh, I actually, I grew up always watching uh, Josh Beckett. He was actually on the Red Sox, but he's from my area. And I uh, always kind of modeled what I did when I was younger after him. He's a pretty good pitcher. And now I really enjoy watching Severino and uh, Justin Verlander and uh, guys like that. You know, Max Scherzer, there's, there's a lot of them. Really fun to watch. Who's someone in your baseball career who you think has had the biggest impact on you to lead you to be the player you are today? Definitely my dad. Uh, you know, since I was, my dad built a pitching mound in my backyard when I was eight years old. And, you know, since that day, we've kind of never looked back. Uh, he's been, you know, from making me watch pitching mechanics videos to yeah. taking me to tournaments every weekend on his time off to, you know, getting home from work and coming to play catch with me. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for everything that he's done for me. I definitely wouldn't be here without him. Is there one part of your game that you pride yourself in, would you say? Uh, probably being able to get strikeouts, uh, put batters away. You know, I think there's something to be said for that. Definitely in today's game, everybody's starting to throw harder. And, uh, strikeouts are a priority. And, and if you look at the numbers past two years, I think strikeouts have gone uh, probably 
30 uh, percent. Home runs are, are getting up there too, so it's more of an all or nothing game right now. And you know, I feel like my ability to put hitters away is really, really a key. What would you say is your mental approach every time you hop on that rubber? Just try to ex execute whatever pitch I'm throwing. And as soon as I let go of that pitch, it's over with. Uh, you know, it's it's over with, and I'm focused on that next pitch, whatever I'm trying to do with that. What are some short and long-term goals of yours? Oh, man. Uh, well, right now, short-term goal is to get back on the mound, get back to feeling good, uh, come into instructional league strong. And, uh, you know, long-term goal would be in a big league rotation. You know, uh, really sharpen everything, sharpen my tools, polish everything up, and uh, just pump out big league team as much as I can. All right, man. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Thank